What is happening, heroes? Three and Hero of Time here, presenting you with Vanilla Double Scoop. Except this time, it's only a single scoop of vanilla because Matt is not here. I have a mission today. I'm going to go ahead and get right to it, and we'll talk about it. Because I'm trying to break my problem with just running around and talking at the beginning of episodes. I have a problem, and I, it used to be real bad, where I would run around at the beginning of episodes for like five minutes doing nothing and talking. Now, I'm running around right now, and you may think I'm doing nothing, but my running around right now is actually, there's a reason for it, so I'm not just running around aimlessly. I kind of am, but I have a goal in mind. I need to find a desert because I need some cactus for our task today. So I'm going to show you guys what I got going on here. So I made some picks the other day. I didn't videotape it, whatever. Uh, I got efficiency for Unbreaking 3 and then one for Matt. Uh, although I might use them both today. So um, I'll show you the mine. Uh, you remember the slime farm from before? It was a little tiny. I made it a little bit bigger. There might be a slime in it now. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, way to be a good example, slime. So I'll show you guys what I'm going to do real quick, and then I'll cut out a lot of the digging. Um, basically what I got going on in here is a chunk big square, 16 by 16. It's slabs, uh, and I'll illustrate why later on. Um, I'm doing jack-o'-lanterns because you may be aware of this or you may not. Slimes are the only mobs that can spawn on jack-o'-lanterns, and if I have a torch, uh, they I don't know if they can spawn on top of torches, I'm pretty sure they can't. But this is the best way to light it up. It's a higher light level, light level than a torch. And um, it's not like glowstone or... I don't think they'll spawn on glowstone, but uh, it's cheaper than glowstone anyway. So, uh, And I have an abundance of pumpkin now. And so this is what every, each floor is going to look like. I believe with where I'm at, um, I should be able to get seven, maybe eight of these in. So... Uh, we'll see what happens. I, I've been lighting up a lot of places off camera. Lots of caves and stuff. This guy's just running from me. He didn't want any part of it. I've lit up a lot of caves, but it's probably not perfect. So I'll spend a lot of time off camera doing that. If this isn't as efficient as I want. But uh, So basically what I'm just doing is in the sides. I'm digging out a three by... Well, yeah. I'm digging out three on all sides. I'm going to go all the way down until I hit bedrock. And then I'm going to start making the platform. I'm going to start working on the middle. So, uh, I'll let you guys know if anything interesting happens, but I'm just going to grind away at this stone and uh, let you know when, when I'm about done. Alright guys, so, I've made some progress. I've dug like 10 blocks down total, I don't know. Um, not doing too bad. Um, as you can see, I've already dug, uh, this will be the second layer and this will be the third layer. So we have three layers so far. I mean, we could stop there and we'd probably be okay, but why not go all the way down and make it legit? Um, I just thought I'd update y'all and let you see how I'm doing. Um, I ran into some trouble over here. Fell down this hole and almost died. I don't know what's down there. Kind of scary. Let's go check it out. Um, yeah, so there's a hole down here. There's some dirt with grass growing on it. Hmm, I should put a torch. Ooh, lava. Oh, uh, this is where we went mining before. Probably. There's a skeleton there somehow. Oh, that's possible. It's so dark, or so light. It's dark there. It's dark there. This is dangerous. Alright, so, I mean, I fell into that hole. That was about the only problem, but I didn't die, so it's okay. Um, you guys would have saw it if I died. <laughs> um, let's see here. I should torch this, probably. Trying to be excessive with torches. Not like coal is that expensive. Although, I do have use for it. Um, where did I come from? There I am. Alright, I don't know where that skeleton, how you got in here. Yeah. Alright, well. Um, let's go back if I can find my way. Alright, yeah, so this is the way up. What I'm basically doing is anything that leads out of the the chunk I mean this this whole thing is out of the chunk but anything that leads out of here so anything over there I'm patching it up with cobblestone uh, I missed that um, let's go get that real quick thing I should have made that um, gravel oh well 
I'm patching these all up with cobblestone to keep any mobs from spawning on any ledges or anything. Mother. Okay. That's great. Well, so I'll keep doing that. And anytime I hit a hole, I'm going in and putting torches into it. Although, so far I haven't had that come up because I've already filled them all in um, before this episode. And let's see. This was something I was using to test slime spawns. I was 24 blocks away um, seeing if they would spawn or not. So there we go. That's about where I'm at right now. Holy cow, I cannot see a thing. Um, let's set that there. There, that worked. All right, so I'm making good progress, and I'll let you guys know when maybe I'm done, maybe before that. I don't know. We'll see. I'll show you guys what progress I've made in just a second. Let's just enchant the sword. Boom. Okay, it's just an unbreaking. That sucks. But I guess I might as well use it. Uh, nope, never mind. My sword I have right now is actually a ton stronger than it. So let's not use it. <laughs> Alright, so that shouldn't be there. What the heck? Is that arrow named or something? Oh, oh it's a stack. Okay. Um, so what I've been doing, there's a lot of cobblestone. I don't need cobblestone that bad, so I'm... Stacking that like that. Ah, uh, crap. I used all the gold. Oh, well. So then I'm doing like that kind of the thing. Maybe I'll do some with some lapis this time. I, I actually had done it with the lapis. I won't leave room for one of each of these. I don't care as much about these anymore. Um, because I'm getting a lot of them as well. I'll go ahead and put... No, I don't need space for that. I'll make a space for flint. And that looks about, about right. I need some torches. Oh, I have an abundance of torches. And I might as well grab some food. I should have made boots, because I could use feather falling. Um, but I'll, I'll show you guys what's up real quick. Um, maybe some of the... I usually try to stay out of the way long enough for the cobblestone to load away, but the... Uh... Hey, there's a slime. <laughs> Alrighty. Go flowing down on my water. There's a slime, and the reason I grabbed the water is, of course, as you can already see, there's lava I'm running into. Um, just knocked out that torch. I gotta kill him, probably. Okay, so he just spawned right there. Gotta put that in there. But uh, this will all be slime farm by the time it's done, so I'm not really worried about the lighting. Um, I'm pretty deep. I'm at uh, 15. I should be done in no time. Got the water for things like this. You cover that all up so I don't fall into it. I have my fortune pickaxe on me. It would be a shame to lose that. Um, so, uh, I'm still just doing my thing. And uh, I know this looks ugly. And when we get done, it won't look great. Um, but once we're more established and we've made our home, we'll come pretty far this up. So right now, this is just functional. Later on, we'll start working on how it will actually look. And we'll make it look a lot more fabulous. And the other reason is, you know, if we do, like, decide to move for, like, a next project, we may want to move this instead of making it look better make it look better somewhere else. But I don't know if we'll ever want to do that. I think we'll have everything connected with, like, a hub and stuff. So, All right, guys. So I'm debating something right now. So as you can see, up there is the first layer. Here's layer two, three, four, five, six, seven... And we're on layer 8 right now. Now here's the deal. We're on layer 8. To get down to the next layer, from here, we'd have to go 1, 2, 3 more blocks. Alright, so let's check that out real quick. I don't know where uh, exactly the bedrock will be, but it should be close. Okay, so 1. Yeah, so that that's that, okay? Then the next one would be... One, two. So if that was there, one, two, one, two, three, that would be like that, right? Okay, I don't know if you understand the dilemma I'm having yet, but the dilemma I'm having, okay, so that's definitely as far as we can go. So, I could add this 8th layer and this ninth layer, theoretically. But, I cannot add any more than that, really. 
because that bedrock starts there. So, what I'm debating is, do I want to even have an eighth layer? So do I want to go seven layers or eight layers? I could, I could go nine actually, but the reason I'm debating it is, uh, well, I, I don't think I can go nine. Yeah, I can either go eight or seven. So I can stop here and go a couple blocks because the way I, I'm going to do it, I'm going to need a, a couple blocks. And so I don't know if it's worth it to have one more layer because I'm going to have to go through this obsidian. And being the smart guy I was, I poured water on it. So, but I've stopped doing that. I've started replacing it with cobble in case I want to do it. And the thing is that if I want to do it, um, I'm definitely going to stop at this layer at least, and if I'm going to do it, I'll go two more blocks down. So this is where they would actually spawn, but I would want this to be two or three more blocks down. So I'd want it to actually be like the area of the next one. That's why I won't make another one because I want it to be the area of the next one because I don't want them jumping back up on the platform. I don't know how high they can jump, but there will be water here so that it, they shouldn't be able to jump anyway. Um, you'll see what we're going to do, and I've already decided not to use the cactus again, or now, uh, I guess again, because originally when I was going to do this, I was going to do the cactus, and then I got off it, so, um, yeah, so that, that's about how low it will go. I think I'm just going to go ahead and do it, now that I think about it, because I can get rid of the lava. I've only done, I've only messed up the one layer, and only a few areas of it, so I'll do that. Oh, hey, slime! Look, a big slime came jumping down, and... Broke up into lots of pieces. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> Look at all this slime. <laughs> so, we know it works, so that's good. Alrighty, guys, so this is where we're at right now. I have finished the whole circle. Square? Uh -oh. Um, I had started getting rid of, like, every block of obsidian, then I realized all I needed to do was get rid of this ring as long as it's below here. So, uh, there will be some more obsidian and lava in there, and we'll probably have to deal with some more, actually. But we have, I think it was seven layers, I don't remember, I'm not going to count it again. Uh, but it's pretty cleared out. A lot of stuff again. Lots of obsidian. And two stacks. It's weird. Um, no more slimes have come down. Of course, I'm in the chunks. So I don't even know why they were coming down last time. But all we got to do now is make uh, where you see this. This will all have to be like hollowed out. Then they'll have to be hollowed out. And then we're going to replace these with slabs. And the pumpkins, and I don't know, we'll be done in no time, so don't even worry about it, guys. And I will see you up there, because I'm going to start hollowing out up there. And I'll see you guys when, whenever I find my way up there. Alright, guys, so my pickaxe, not this one, that's my fortune, is running low. I thought I'd come up and repair it, and I was at like level 29, so I went ahead and went the rest of the way. So I can make an enchantment, and I noticed I have a power 4 enchant on my bow, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Ah, just power 4 unbreaking. I need infinity, but maybe I'll get infinity, hopefully sometime. And the only way I could completely repair it was to make a whole pickaxe. You could probably guess that. Um, I'll show you my progress so far. If you're hammering in the background, ignore it. One of my neighbors moved out recently, and so they're working on his room to get it renovated for the next person. All that life stuff. Cooking sand for for glass. I'm going to need that later on. It won't come into play for quite a while. But here's what I got so far. I got a giant like mob spawner, basically. Um, I think I need to put something in here. Yeah, I need to put these torches in here. Alright, I got about all the pumpkins I'll need. Um, where's my path at? I have a path that goes down there. I'll take it out when I'm all done. Like when I'm all done at the very, very end. Right now, all I got here is a mob spawner. It's pretty epic. Oh, jeez. That didn't work. <laughs> so, but uh, after I'm done with this, I'll, oh, man, that sucks. After I'm done with this, I'll light it up a little bit and uh, we'll get it going. I keep getting knocked off by zombies surprising me and I almost had a heart attack earlier. But there's already slime spawning and they're falling off the side all the time. Uh, I had slime balls on me, but I don't know where they went. Oh, crap. Oh, well. Alright, so I'm going to keep working on it. And when I'm uh, about to lay the pumpkins, I'll probably come back to y'all. So, see you in a bit.
All right, guys. So I am done making all the platforms. We'll go down and take a look see at them, but we just need to light them up. And I have the jack o' lantern holes made already. So let's go ahead and do that. Wee! Sploosh. All right. So this is just a breeding hole for creepers right now. So that's good. Ooh, he went flying, and he's dead. All right. So we're just gonna light this thing up. Before long, all these guys around here should be dead. I'm just doing this pattern. Um, I'll show you how much it lights up in a second after I put them all in here. Of course, I'm going to do it on the bottom, like right there, and then I'm going to do them. What the heck? Oh, okay. I'm actually going to probably have to go to each floor to do it because I think they have to have a block underneath of them in order to, to place the pumpkins. Go flying. I like the, how the texture pack makes those guys look, kind of. I don't know if I can do... Yeah, I think I have to actually have... Like that. Yep. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, well. Alright, so that's going to take me a while, so I'm not going to make you guys watch all that. But basically, I'm going to do this, and we'll go see what the lighting level is after I do this one floor of them. Um, it should be at least eight or more in every area. I did this before on the top floor, and it was it was just fine. And I don't even think I had the top uh, jack-o'-lanterns on the first floor yet. So I should have plenty of pumpkins at this point. I don't think I have all the jack-o'-lanterns I need made yet, but I have all the pumpkins I need in my pocket, I think. So I'll just have to go back and remove this cobblestone as if I hadn't had enough mining yet. <sighs> it's been a while. I've taken a few hours to do this. And I made some uh, lava into obsidian on accident, so it took, uh, well, I thought it was the right thing to do at the time, then I realized it was stupid, I guess, and I got rid of it as part of it, and then I started just replacing lava with cobblestone, and luckily there was no stupid deaths as a result of that, and that water we're actually going to leave there because we're going to use that for the next part, and the next part is going to be pretty easy, but... Uh, it's going to be basically the whole point of this. Um, right now, nothing's spawning because we're here, but uh, I don't know. For some reason, slimes have been coming down. I guess maybe I'm far enough away from the very top for it to work, but uh, every now and then a big old slime comes down and divides up down here. All right, so let's see. Our light level is 10 here. Let's see if it ever goes 9 there, 9... Alright, I think we're all good. Oh yeah, we're, we're more than good. Alright, so we're not... Nine is the lowest. I won't even really worry about torching up the sides for now. Because it's not really that big of a deal. But I'm going to be doing these jack lanterns on every floor. And I will let you guys know when I'm done. There's a creeper. Let's kill him. Die. So I just fell off the platform, guys. And I just... It's just epic. They're on all my levels, and all my stuff is down there. Jessica's laughing at me. Ah, I keep lagging back to my bed so I can't even go get my stuff. Oh, my gosh. All right, so here's what we got going on here. We're going to start right here, and the slimes will, wherever they drop, they'll flow either that way or this way, and they'll go all the way around to over there where they'll have their drowning death. All right, so it's going to be pretty simple. I'm going to go ahead and not cut out any of it though, so you can take a look at it if you don't already know how to do it. And if I'm doing anything where there's like an easier way you could do it, you can tell me and I'll maybe fix it or know for the future. Something like that. So if you have any suggestions, now's the time to throw them in. And then I want to do this right here. And that, that, that. Now this whole time I've been having slimes come flying down on me and stuff and I've I've already tried to record this part like two times and it's got interrupted by people hammering and knocking on doors and lag of freaking monsterness on the server being awesome. All kinds of great things have happened. It's a great day to record. There you go, there's a guy drilling outside now. Not cutting the recording, don't even care. So, 
He's drilling in a vacuum in? I don't know what he's... Or it's like a circular saw, actually. Oh, well. So, um... I think all I need to do is... This... Okay, and I'll show you how it works real quick. Maybe... You know, I'll go all the way to the beginning. Let you get a look at it. Get some water. Alright, here's how it works. Alright, so they'll be here. Then they'll flow this way. They'll keep on going. They'll float right on up there. Now, I know there's more... The most efficient way to do this is to have a death trap at each corner, probably. But uh, I don't want to do it like that. It's kind of silly. And there are a few things I'm going to do to try to make it more efficient. I found there's a, a few, like minor things you can do to speed it up and one of those is or the main thing is that you need to figure out something to do with the big guys because the big guys cause the most problems with this system and they really what ends up making it not work I put those in the wrong spot there you go alright yeah so the big guys will cause some problems so hopefully I can get some lava and my plan for them will involve lots of burning and meanness Alright, that should be... Okay, I made plenty of signs prior to me. Oh well. Man, guys, the city or apartment life or whatever is noisy today. It's bad. It's taken me so long to just freaking get this recording. I'm about to... have to go over to my school and do some crazy things. It's gonna be awesome. Alright, so this should work well. Should at least be able to get the water part done before I have to leave. Hopefully. Go up there. Alright. Ah. Whatever. Okay, that. 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 It's pretty simple. I'm sure that the, on this corner part, I could do something different. Because they will get... A few of them will get caught and it will slow it down a little bit. But it's really easy. Okay. Fine, don't go water bucket. It's really easy. Um, it's fairly cheap. I think it looks cooler than the cactuses, to be honest. Uh, I was gonna, I was fully prepared to do the cactus. I mean, I went looking for cactus, which that's probably not a part of the video anymore since I'm not actually doing that plan. But I did go looking for cactus because I was planning to do the cactus killing method. But I ended up deciding not to. All right, guys. So I have, I got all the water down to this point, and I've done a couple other things, but. Um, I've prepared this, um, you'll see how it all works, I don't want to explain it too much, you'll understand. So, all I need to do is bust that, 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 and that, I believe, maybe that, yeah, okay, I don't think it matters. Alright, and then I'm going to put, uh, you got me. that there, that there, that there, then I'm going to put, hmm. I guess I want that there. I want those flowing down into there, and then I need something to kill them down there. Hmm. Very hard to work with this water. I can get rid of it for now, I guess. Uh, I thought just saw slime, I think. But uh, as you can see, I got some lava. I had to do some clearing away. I was recording, but then I decided to just stop because I was having to clear away obsidian. Ah, uh, crap. Okay, see, it works very well. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Um, how about that? We want to do it so that it, it forces them down. So, we may get a sample to see how well it works here in a second. He's aggroed on me, but... Yeah. He's actively hopping after me. Let's see if we can get him to flow down there. Stop chasing me, buddy. You're not okay. All right, he's not gonna go down because he's he wants uh, our body. Okay, so we should be able to go here. Or is this a? Oh, this is an air pocket. That's bad. I don't want that. All right, that should do it, even with the big ones, I believe. But you know what? We might as well go ahead and do it there. Wait, can I don't know if that'll work. All right, let's see. No, okay, that that one can't be there. 
There it is. Alright, so I'm gonna have to take more of these away now. So I just messed it up. So now will it, will they stay down if they go down there? I mean, I can't get out, so... If I can't get out, I doubt the slimes can. Alright, so here's this part. We have other things to do, and I'm not completely sure it's uh, functional yet. <laughs> so we have to do this. The hoppers real quick. Um, that there, that there. Try to do it before I drown. I uh, should get some torches out. There we go. Alright, that can go there. Such slow moving. Uh, I don't think that will that redstone down there will mess it up, hopefully. Okay, so... Now what we want to do is... Um, bust out this. Don't worry, I'm going to fix this in a second. I'm going to replace that wall with some glass. Like so. And now, glass always causes problems with mobs, but glass just makes everything look better. So I want to use it. <laughs> it's going to end up having like slimes glitching out of it, but whatever. I don't care. Too, too cool for these slimes. Alright, so that should do it. Um, now, what we need is. Okay, we're at bedrock, so this could, could get aggravating here. That should work for now. So I had to make some more signs. I went ahead and set them up. This is what we got. I'll show you how it works. We're just going to pour the lava. Um, the reason is, at this corner... What the heck? At this corner, the little ones tend to get stuck every now and then. Most of them don't get... None of the rest of them usually get stuck. Sometimes they'll take a little while longer here. But um, the intention of this thing... Okay, see... So I was getting flocked by slimes earlier, so I killed one. I'll just let that go. Um, so the intention of this is to kill all the big ones and make them into medium-sized slimes so that they can go and be drowned. Now the medium-sized ones, they will drown just naturally over there, but they cause more problems because they can fight the current uh, better than even I can, and which isn't saying a whole lot. Just... Uh, Steve be weak. Although I guess I'm not Steve, I'm Link. And so there's that lava, that lava, that lava. Now, I have tried putting like lava here and it, it helps. It speeds up more, but it's excessive and I don't want to make any more signs. Um, let's see. I should have one more lava. And then if you see what I did here, over there I had those signs for the waterfalls, but then I have another set here. And that's for one last lava. Because there is a chance that the big ones drop off here, here. In which case they won't go through that lava. So, um, I can't really demonstrate this for you, <laughs> um, but what we can do is we can clean up and uh, see. I dead my arms on. Uh, we can take a look at it and we can go see what kind of results we get. I was getting flocked by slimes just standing here. Um, like I said, there were some slime balls sitting off in this on the side that I hadn't picked up yet. And so I'm going to go ahead and clean up. Alright guys, so I have set up a few other things just to make it work a little, well not work a little better, uh, easier to get to I guess. Um, this is the way up, this is the way down. Let's go check it out. We can bounce, sweet! Yay! Thought it would be appropriate to put the slime blocks here. It doesn't look very good, but... Okay, stop, stop, okay. Keep in mind that uh, everything I build right now is purely functional. Once I build my house, our home, once we build our home, uh, it'll look epic. So we'll try to make everything look epic with it. So once we see our home, there, one of the reasons is we don't know the complete interior design look of our home yet. So deciding that will help determine what this will all look like. So let's go see how this is working. There's a little guy dying right now. Looks like he just died in the fire. Uh, here's a guy I got. His name's Martin. You can't see his name tag, but I promise his name is Martin. Um, let's see. Oh, I set some more chests up because in just a few minutes I got three stacks of slime balls. So, um, something that went on here is I noticed that the big guys weren't always getting cooked by one, but now it looks like 
what I've put in is too many. So I'll see what happens, and if I have to fix it, then I will. But it was working, so I'll probably just go get rid of the extra row of lava I put in there. That's probably messing everything up, but... Um, sometimes the big guys get caught. Like, okay, see, this will work for the big guy, probably. Let's see. Okay, see, because the little guys, unless they're the big guy, they should not catch on fire. Yeah, okay, see, that worked well. That's how it's supposed to work. You know, nobody except the big guys should be caught in the lava. If the medium ones get caught in the lava, it's okay, but it's preferable that nobody but the big ones. See, holy cow, we have so many slimes in here. Alright, so let's check this out. All of it will go in the hoppers. And we have this tank so we can watch them die a painful, agonizing death. One of the worst deaths ever. Drowning. It's probably one of the worst ways to go. You slowly die as you're brain loses oxygen and you start to swallow water and it's tragic. Alright, so I'm not actually getting very many slime balls from these guys. Oh, okay, there you go. So we're making progress. What I'll probably do is tonight I'll AFK by this thing and I'll see just how many slimes we can get in a night. I think we'll definitely get more than these two. We'll get these two chests filled in a night, I think. But we'll see. I hope you guys liked it. Um, hope this video wasn't too long, and I hope it was one video. And uh, if you have any suggestions or questions, please feel free to ask. That's it for me today. Seize your destiny. Check subscribe and become here today. See ya.